Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my massive haul update. I thought it was actually another reason I wanted to post part one and part two, this video, is because we're heading into Christmas season and I thought that if anything, some of these can be recommendations if you're looking for Christmas gift recommendations. So I figured updating you on things that I bought and tried and been using for the past year would be a great way to do that. Um, I'll also let you know that I dumped that coffee and part two is going to be all about the wine. <laughs> Do you like my glass? I feel like Game of Thrones when I'm drinking out of this wine glass. This is actually the wine glass that uh, my husband and I um, had at our wedding ceremony. So it's kind of nostalgic. My husband actually really likes this glass. He feels super cool drinking out of that wine glass. But this is what I'm drinking. And yes, highly recommend the Menage a Trois, right? Menage a Trois? Um, California Red Wine 2014. Just the regular one. Now they have the Silk. That one is amazing, and they have some other ones, but this one is gr this one's good. It's Zinfandel, Merlot, and Cabernet. Like, come on. That's like the best of the red wine world. So, anyways, okay, this is going to be, I wrote it down, uh, what kind of shopping this was. This is a culmination of Black Friday last year, Cyber Monday. Ulta sent me a 20% off coupon, and I had to use it. And then in December, Sephora sends out that $25 off of $50 purchase coupon. Oh. I gotta think about what I'm gonna buy this year. Probably skincare, honestly. Something expensive that I can save $25 on. Um, okay, so I'll link that original haul below as well. And then I'll also link below uh, the playlist. I have a haul playlist, like all of my hauls I've ever done, I put in a playlist just because if you're ever really bored in life and you just wanna watch everything I've ever bought, there you go. All right, let's get into this. The first thing is the Juicy Couture I Am Juicy Perfume. And I love the bottle. I think I bought this on beauty.com or something like that. I smelled it in the store at Ulta and that I knew I kind of liked it and so I ended up purchasing it online. But I think I don't love it on me. Like, I really don't. Um, I've been wearing it because I'm committed. And what size did I even buy? This is like 1.7. That's another reason why I usually buy one fluid ounce sizes. I never buy the 3.4 anymore because that's just way too much. Unless it's in my all-time favorite perfume, then that's okay. But I have a lot of options, and so if I buy big perfume, like a large size, it's like I can't go through it, you know? So <sighs> I don't even know what's in here. Like the notes in here are things I like, but something about this, I just don't like it on myself. I feel like it makes me stink, like really bad, like not a good smell at all. So this might be something you want to smell but I just I don't love it it's not in that same category as this next one that I'm gonna show you yeah okay this is just a I would never buy it again kind of thing um, okay I mean I can wear it and not hate myself but I don't love myself this perfume makes me love myself this is the Giorgio Armani C now they have C Rose they have the C Toilette this is this they have the C Intense which I don't, I don't own that one, but I smelled it and that's like really good. This is their C, just C. Parfum, this is the Parfum too. Yes, this is the 1.7 fluid ounce. Oh my gosh, this is such a delicious perfume. It's very simple. I think there's like four notes in this perfume. Oh, now this, this I can do. When I put this on, this makes me feel like a woman. There are perfumes that make me feel feminine and fresh and girly and flirty and there are perfumes that make me feel like a woman you know what i mean this is that perfume like curves cellulite but donk a donk flabby arms i don't care because i look good i'm confident <laughs> that's how this makes me feel put this on with some heels mm, i can do anything okay next we have some nail polishes i had picked up and I just realized when I was pulling these off of my nail polish collection rack, not nail polish collection rack, just my rack, that these two are kind of similar, but this color is really pretty. This is OPI, all of them are OPI. Color so hot it burns. This is a really pretty cherry, well, no, not even cherry red. This is like more bright. This is fun. I love a red nail polish. I just, I don't know, I was looking at my, on my wall and even my husband was making a comment like, you know, think you have enough red nail polish? I'm like, nah, I don't have every shade yet. <laughs> but I mean, I, it's just classic. You can't go wrong with a classic perfume and a classic red lip and a classic red nail. It's just something about it. It's just, it's classic for a reason. So color so hot it burns, great formulation, great color. This is OPI Red. That's the name. It's OPI Red. It's just your true blue-based red cream 
shade. It's just stunning. You can't go wrong with this. And the other one, I've been eyeing this one for a while. This one's called Koala Berry. It's a really pretty pink. And if you're not a, a girl or woman that likes Barbie pink or too bright of a pink, try this one. This is just really pretty. And of course, my nails today are disgusting. I just took off my nail polish and I didn't want to take the time to uh, paint them. But this is a pretty color too. Good formula. This was part of last year's... What is that noise? I don't know. Um, this is part of last year's winter, Essie Winter collection. I love this color. This is the softest, most baby whisper of blue. It has really... It's like a, it's cream. It's basically a cream, but it's really, really soft, pretty formulation. And I don't love na blue nail polish. What is that noise? Do you hear that? It must be my phone. Anyway, anyways, okay, sorry. I, I don't usually film down here to have all these different noise distractions and stuff. But anyways, I do like that color. And now that I held that up, is my color okay? I don't know. I'm looking so pasty white today. Uh, this next thing is the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. I had like wavered on this for quite some time before I purchased it last year. I did do a look on this if you would like to see that look. If you like cool tones, I think you would enjoy this palette. You gotta be careful with her shadows though. I do enjoy her shadows, okay? Don't get me wrong. You just have to be careful because they blend so well that you can really have a muddy mess in no time. You just, you don't have to work hard to blend these. So if you think you do, you're gonna either blend them away or blend them into like brown. <laughs> like, like you could start out with all these colors and all of a sudden your eyeshadow is brown because it's just like you blended it into oblivion. I love this color. This is my favorite color. I think in the look that I did, I put this all over my lid, but it is a nice palette. I wanna say they have this on Sephora right now in a kit with something else like reduced pricing. Basically you get other things for free. So I'll link that if that's all that there is. I don't know if you can buy this separate anymore, but it is nice. And if you like those cooler tones, I don't know. When I look at this, I think of hot cocoa too, like with these pretty taupes and stuff. I think you can get a really nice neutral look out of this. And this purple isn't super purple. Like when you put on your eyes, it's almost kind of disappointing though. I think I remember that from using it last time is it's not as purple in this on your eye as it is on the in the pan. And that, that happens with purples and navies and stuff like that. So there was that. Next we have this, and I've recently talked about this. This formula, this color, pretty much this is just a great lipstick. And I love this formula. If you're looking for a red lipstick, this is beautiful. But this, this line, this is the Buxom Bold, uh, I think it's called Big and Sexy Bold Lip Gel. This is the shade Red Inferno. This matte formula is beautiful divine, ideal, not heavy, not dry, doesn't sink, comfortable. This color is bomb. <laughs> it's called Red Inferno. There's like six, uh, goodness, there's probably like five or six different color, like shades of red in this particular formula. They also have um, a satin finish. This is the matte finish. So check out this line. And these are inexpensive, I think, for higher end. It's like, like a $20 bill or something, but I love that color. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is good wine. I'll show it to you again in case you missed that. Menage a trois. Ugh. So good. This next thing, where did it go? I just put it on my lips. Here it is. Um, I put it on my other lip combo I had was wearing in part one just because I wanted to have a little bit of shine or I like to usually change up my outfit and lipstick for a video, but we're not doing that today. Uh, but this is NARS Tiber. I don't know if you can still get this. This might be a Nordstrom exclusive, if anything, or on NARS actual website, but this is Tiber. I don't recall that, that you can get this at Sephora because I bought it at a counter. So if I can find it online, I'll link it below. I don't know if this was limited or anything. I'm just, it's great. I really like this gloss. This is my only NARS gloss that I have. It's a it's a brush wand, like, like so, so you kind of just, brush it on but this color is a great deeper nude color um i have to be careful with nudes oh now the sun's coming in i feel like i'm back in the beginning days of my channel where i'm sitting on the floor in front of a window with my camera kind of like it though i kind of like it i don't i don't ever want to be super professional i just like it to keep it real low-key and warm and inviting like you're here you know what i mean so I, I don't know we might have to do the floor thing a few times maybe we'll do the jammy thing and the floor thing yeah i like that <laughs> yeah and the dirty hair no makeup we should do that sometime um anyways it's a nice nude 
color like not nude like concealer or too light that's what i was saying like i can't go too light with my skin tone and my lip color and everything it just it's not a good look for me but this with um ideal lip liner that i showed in part one that is a sexy sexy combo so flattering and this it's not it's opaque but it's not super opaque like annoying opaque gloss to me should be glossy and it should have a little color if that's what you want but it shouldn't have so much color that it's high maintenance and it's moving around and you just you know what i mean so i really like this i definitely put my stamp of approval on that color what's next this was limited edition i'm just going to show you real quick because you can't get this that i'm aware of so so happy i did buy it though i just it's a great palette the urban decay gwen stefani collaboration today in my crease i'm actually wearing uh, these two colors but it's great and I'm sorry you cannot get it any longer maybe they'll bring it back or something like that but yeah that that was I was happy about that purchase for sure this lip liner I'm wearing Ooh, did you see that giant poof of dog hair that just went flying up I tell you what can't keep up you, you have animals and kids and hardwood floors don't let the sun come through. Like if you're having people over, put your blinds down because <laughs> the sun doesn't lie. It shows everything. And I like to keep my house clean and I just can't keep up with all these animals. Kid crumbs and ugh. anyways, this is what I'm wearing underneath that lipstick duo and the gloss. <laughs> but this is Marc Jacobs Primrose Lip Liner. I put this on this morning without any of those lipstick or gloss over it. And it looks so pretty just by itself. I don't, okay, here's my pet peeve about these. First of all, it's it's kind of difficult to sharpen. In mine, when I first took it out, the whole thing comes out. And that is not the only time that that has happened. That has happened to, with the eyeliners for me, and that's happened with the other lip liner I own by him. Doesn't stop me though, because I love the color. I just wish there was a way to get the gel formulation without the whole stick coming out, you know what I mean? So now, of course, it's not doing it. It's staying in like I want it to. This color is really pretty. It's like a, oh, it's a beautiful rosy color. These are the kind of colors I like. Just easy, effortless. Can like today I have like darker eye makeup, but it doesn't compete. Like I feel like this is still in that kind of nude, your lips kind of category, and that's kind of my favorite. I mean, I love a red lip. Don't get me wrong. I like my dark lips. I like I wear everything really, but. This is easy. This is something I don't have to think about. And I like to have those types of colors too. Next, we have these. I bought these two liquid lipsticks by Kat Von D and I love them together. I like them on their own, but together they create another shade of lipstick kind of in between. And these are those cool toned, rosy pinky shades that are just really flattering. This one's a pretty pinky nude. It's called Love Sick. Oh, sun, go away. <laughs> I mean, don't, but just for the moment. Uh, Makeup by Tiffany D loves this color and I think that's what first turned me on to it was she was wearing it and raving about it and I love her. I love her channel. We could totally be friends. Um, anyways, so I picked this up and I loved it but while I was looking at this I saw this color and this one's called Mother and this is like the deeper version of Lovesick and I really love me a cool toned deep rosy pink color and it's very flattering. So, and I like to put them together. Isn't the packaging super cool on here? I need that tattoo, like this tattoo to my arm. That would be cool. Anyway, so I love those. Okay, so then I placed an order with House of Lashes. I think on Black Friday or Cyber Monday they were doing 20% off. Yeah, I think they were or something like that. They were doing some sort of sale. I get their emails and you know when you get emails from companies like there's a sale, you, you know, it's exclusive you feel like you need to buy so I did so today I am wearing the noir fairies and I believe I've worn these before but let me just tell you one okay I'll tell you what I got and then I'll tell you a little bit about these so the noir here Chelsea let me see if I can get up close oh that sounds not good they're big okay these are big lashes I like them they're glam Probably not something you'd wear to the office, but I mean, depending on what kind of office you're working in, maybe you don't care. Um, the other ones I bought are Starlet. I have not worn these yet because I don't, I think they're too thick. I think they're too thick and too big for my liking, but that's what they look like. You know what I mean? Like too thick up in here. There's just, I don't know. I'll have to try them. And then the other ones are Pixie Lux. I've worn these, well, not this particular pair, but this style quite a few times, even more recently in my, uh, get ready with me as I've done and I do like those 
So here's the thing about this. House of Lashes has their regular line and then this is the premium luxe line. The band on these is very thick. I think if you are a beginner, you're not gonna, you're gonna hate these. They're gonna be a nightmare to work with. I'm not a beginner, but I'm not an expert. Like I wear false lashes all the time, but I don't get them on fleek. <laughs> My husband hates when I say that. I don't get them perfect. Like, you know, they look pretty good. But the thick band makes it, they're stiff. And so they are the shape of whatever that cardboard is, even if you maneuver it around, one end will pop up. And so I just can't even imagine if you've never done it before, getting it on the spot it's supposed to be, you need two hands and you need a tool. Like they're kind of high maintenance, okay? So that's all I'm gonna say about that. Cause sometimes I get really frustrated like today <laughs> when the glue is getting all over and then I was using black glue. So when it dries, it's black. And I'm just like, kill me now. No, don't kill me. I don't wanna die yet. That was a stupid thing to say. We're gonna have to edit that out. Um, next, I bought the, oh my gosh. Like, I don't have a single bad thing to say about this. Friends Beauty is where I got this last year for 20 some percent off, or maybe it was 30% off. I don't know, it was on a super sale. I wanna say I paid around $50 for this. Friendsbeauty.com. You should check them out because they sell Viseart, and this palette, for me, is a must have. I love it. I love it. I talk about it all the time. I love it, you can't go wrong with it, and I love it. That's all I'm gonna say because it's great. I mean, <laughs> I've talked about it so much, you're probably like, really, Chelsea, if you watch all my videos. Uh, but these are all matte, nicely pigmented, blend wonderfully, these are all everyday colors. I just, I really like it. Now, in that same order, you, in order for me to get free shipping, I had to put something else in my cart, so I added the Bedellium Tools brush, number 944, I thought I could use this for contouring. It's so stiff and it's so scratchy. I don't know if it's because I'm spoiled now because I have some lovely, lovely Wayne Goss brushes that I've invested in. And then I go to use this and I'm just like, what? It's no, it's no good. <laughs> I mean, it feels kind of soft to the touch, but the performance, okay? And if it doesn't perform, why would you ever use it? You know, if it's not gonna do what you need it to do and it's just gonna mess up your makeup that you've just spent all this time doing, why use it? So. It's just so stiff. It just doesn't blend. It doesn't move right. So no, I don't, I don't recommend this. I mean, if you want to try it for yourself, go ahead. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I don't personally love it and I don't personally use it. I've tried to use it a couple times this year and um, I think I'm going to feed it to my garbage can. So that is the end of this haul update. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you missed part one, that'll be linked below. And um, yeah, so I thought if anything, you have some more recommendations for Christmas coming up and birthdays or whatever it is that you need to buy gifts for potentially. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we will chat very soon and then you'll understand why I'm down here and why things are just kind of different. So I like to leave you guys in suspense. It's a little bit fun, <laughs> not gonna lie.